So I had to dive to the depths of the internet for you guys to find this information. For some reason, Overwatch has something against telling us when they've got deals or events going on. Luckily for you, you have found this video. Starting on October 30th through November 4th, fans who have linked their YouTube and Battle.net accounts can enjoy in-game perks throughout the entirety of the playoffs and the grand finals. So for every hour you watch the playoffs and or grand finals, you earn five league tokens per hour. For every hour you've watched up until 30 hours, earn three Overwatch League home and away skins for every three hours watched up to 30 hours again. Additionally, custom community designed Overwatch 2 cosmetics will be dropped after specific viewership miles. I don't think we know exactly what those are at this moment. But obviously, if we hit those milestones, we'll find out pretty quickly. I have the link to this website that I am currently on at this moment in the description down below. And I'll walk you through how to do this. They've got it step by step right here. But just in case you didn't know, you hit sign in right here. And this sign in is going to bring you to your, your Battle.net account page. Obviously, I'm not going to show you anything of mine. Um, that actually, that'll, that'll sign you in right there. At least that's how it worked for me. I clicked sign in. It signed me in right away. Then all you got to do is link your Battle.net to YouTube account. This one's fairly simple. It was in the top two for me you just go ahead and click connect right there and then give it a couple seconds it connects and it does everything for you walk through it hit okay or yes or whatever it asks you just continue all the way through and then your accounts are linked step three simple once uh, once the matches go live all you have to do is using that youtube account that you have linked to your battle net go ahead and watch the finals now they're actually some pretty decent looking rewards just from the look of this right away i really like this kiriko skin I, maybe it's just the colors i'm just really feeling them now these skins are actually pretty cool if you scroll down right away these are actually new to overwatch 2 the name cards I, it's simple but i really really like the design of this one this one's definitely one that's going to be really cool to get uh we got some player icons for the most part they're fairly simple player icons i couldn't see myself using any of these but obviously personal preference we got some sprays i mean sprays are sprays and then here we get the full list of what we're getting for watching three hours of the playoff you get a tracer skin genji skin and a bastion skin hey uh, we're getting bastion back here soon for six hours you get may mercy and hanzo nine hours Anna, brigida and zenyatta 12 hours wrecking ball Diva, Ash, 15 hours, Cassidy, Farah, and Echo, 18 hours, Roadhog, Baptiste, Sigma, 21 hours, Soldier 76, Orissa, Reinhardt, Sombra, 24 hours, Symmetra, Torbjorn, Doomfist, 27 hours, Lucio, Junkrat, Moira, and 30 hours, you get Zarya, Widowmaker, and Winston. Now, I did make sure to read through all of that for you guys so you could make sure that that's the amount of time that you need to watch. Obviously, you only get rewards up to 30 hours watched now this is only during the playoffs here uh is according to this uh according to the, the way they they map it out here this is only for the playoffs now you also get uh up to two hours of prizes gained from watching the finals one hour you get a sojourn skin two hours you get a junker queen and a kiriko skin now i didn't i didn't also uh read any of the additional drops they're just going to be sprays or player icons so nothing too exciting obviously 100 league tokens is pretty cool as well one more reminder Reminder, it is between October 30th through November 4th. So make sure to mark that down on your calendars. A lot of free stuff being given away. Don't miss out. Next up on our to talk list today, Overwatch fans are mad. Coming from a loot box system in Overwatch 1 to a battle pass that doesn't even give you currency to use on the next battle pass, fans are concerned that Overwatch has lost what it once was a good game with a mediocre reward system. To to the same game with a money hungry reward system this brings the question is overwatch a thing to try to get more money out of an old game saying that most everything that was changed could have been added to overwatch one through an update yes the loot box system is illegal in some countries but there are better ways of going about this than getting rid of it for everybody 
One more problem a lot of the fans are having is they are charging some insane prices for some really mediocre skins. Now, these are just some examples, but we've got a Kiriko skin that really uh, just doesn't deserve to be a legendary skin, especially when the only epic skin of Kiriko's at the moment feels like there was just more put into it. They didn't even change the color of her healing Afuda in her legendary skins, yet they did it with her epic skin. I don't know what was going through their mind here, but it, it just doesn't seem like it deserves the title of a legendary skin this also happens with the junker queen skin like what is this it, it, it doesn't feel like a legendary skin and then we jump down to the epics and i feel like i'm getting a little bit more of a value from an epic skin same with sojourn skins i'm not really a big fan of any of sojourn skins but at the same time, there just doesn't seem like there was enough effort put into these legendary skins. Overwatch used to be known for the top tier skins, rivaled by none. But it seems at this point that it's still unrivaled, not even by Overwatch 2. Let me know if you guys feel the same. Obviously, some skins can appeal to other people. Maybe I just don't feel like these appeal to me. That you could love them. They could be your favorite skins in the entirety of Overwatch. Let me know in the comments down below. Next up on our list today, my insider news has found me some juicy, juicy news. We have a new Overwatch hero coming in at the start of the Halloween event. There's been some chatter here and there about this champion coming in. But we didn't actually know until now. Bastion, a new hero with a hat and a bird on his shoulder for some reason. Uh, they'll probably explain it later. The bird will probably be used for a weapon and definitely not just to be there and do absolutely nothing. Same with the hat. It'll probably turn into some type of gun because he's a turret. But from as far as we know, the champion doesn't seem to look like he'll be absolutely busted and be given buffs that actually make him completely unfair in the entirety of the game. And the game probably will, will not be better without him in the game. But we will obviously not know until he is entered into the game. Last up on our list today is going to be the Halloween event. The Halloween event is dropping tomorrow, October 25th through November 8th. Now, there are going to be some free challenges you can do to unlock some cosmetics. None of the cosmetics have been shown yet, but obviously when the uh, event drops, we'll be able to see it. There is also a Winston skin that you guys can go ahead and get for free starting right now as soon as this video is dropped. Except it's a skin that's already in the game and a lot of Overwatch 1 players already have it. I don't understand what their whole marketing thing is going on right now, but do they not have a team that can put together a skin for this event? A new skin for this event? Yes, it's a free skin and that's probably not what they're trying to do right now but it's literally nothing for people who already own the werewolf winston skin i don't fully understand what's going on here to claim this skin if you don't already have it all you have to do is watch any streamer in the overwatch 2 category anytime between october 24th which is from the time i'm posting this video right now until november 1st 11 a.m pst so go ahead and claim it if you don't have it already if not you can just sulk like the rest of us that's gonna wrap it up for today thank you guys all so much for watching the video if you guys did learn something or have any questions about something I did talk about today, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, make sure to stay frosty. Peace.